Yo, like you guys did see, I'm gonna show you guys how to get dreadlocks with long hair within a 24 hour period. And I know this seems like clickbait, I know you guys are like, this is way too good to be true, and it's honestly possible. Because believe it or not, anything is possible, and I'm not just saying that in a generic or cliche kind of way, but it is true, as long as you pay attention to these steps, follow along with them, you can actually get dreadlocks within 24 hours if you actually go about it and do it precisely and do it right. So before I start the video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Let's jump straight into it. Alright, so the first step you are going to need to do is wash and dry your hair. So within that first hour of the 24 hours, just wash your hair, make sure it's completely dry, and then you can start the process. Okay, so after your hair is washed and dried, you are going to have to section out your hair and separate it so that you have sections that you are planning to dread up. And since this tutorial is going to be on long hair, all you do is separate off the long hair and then get it prepared to actually start the dreading process. Okay, there's only three methods you can use that will get you dreadlocks within 24 hours. The first method would be crochet hook, which works on any hair type. So if you have straight hair all the way up to really coarse hair, crochet hooking can do it as long as you have your hair sectioned and separated. Now the second one you can use is rip and twist. Now this strictly works for straight hair, and I think it works best for straight hair. What you can do is use rip and twist up until the point that you think it's ready to go, then you can crochet hook it to maintain it to make it look nice and good. Now the last one you can also use for any hair type, but I think this works best for coarse hair or more of the wavy type hair, which is interlocking. And what I've seen a lot of people do, mostly famous people, is that they'll put a rubber band at the end of their dreadlock and then they'll start interlocking from there and then their hair starts to interlock. And then it'll eventually lock up and you can lock it up within 24 hours because interlocking is pretty much like a permanent lock, which is instant. Pretty much the same as crochet hook, but there's kind of like a braid look that goes with interlocking. Now step number four is a given. I say this so many times, be patient when you have your dreadlocks, especially when you're getting them. Having them is another thing, but getting them is the part that takes most patience. Now I said that you can get these in 24 hours, and it's true, you can. If you wash your hair, make sure it's clean, make sure it's dry right after you wash it. And after you do that, separate in section, which I would recommend with rubber bands. And once you got it separated in section after it's dried, you pick a method, which is crochet hook, rip and twist, or interlocking. And honestly, you can choose all three of those methods. If you really want dreadlocks and you want to get them now, like take everything you got and make your dreadlocks. Now I know some people are like, yo, you can't make dreadlocks, but it's true, you can make dreadlocks. If you have straight hair, you kind of have to make dreadlocks because your hair doesn't form on its own. So with that being said, choose crochet hook, interlocking, or rip and twist, and you can get dreadlocks instantly. The first ever method that was used to get dreadlocks instantly, I believe, was crochet hooking. That's the first video that I've seen, and then it just got very popular. And then now I just see a lot of people using interlocks, which that has also been popular in the past as well, but I think it just has been popular over the span of time. But trust me, if you really want to get dreadlocks within 24 hours or really quick, this doesn't only apply just to 24 hours. It can apply to a month, two months, a week, two days, five days. As long as you put in these steps, you can get dreadlocks, believe it or not. And if you don't see results, just be patient. That's why step four is be patient. If you don't see progress, be patient. You'll see progress throughout the time. Just be real patient. But hey, thank you for tuning in and watching that. If you guys did enjoy it and it helped you out, like the video. And also, if you guys want to test it out, try it out on yourself and then send me results, whether through Snapchat or Instagram or whatever. And that is just a quick tip I wanted to give you guys because I know you guys definitely wanted it. Without further ado, we'll just continue the vlog and keep everything rocking like usual. Right now, I'm actually making some dinner for me, Candace, and Kellen before we head off to church. I'm making this, I think it's called chicken parmesan. Is that what it's called? It's like red meat sauce with the chicken and the noodles. It's pretty good. But we're gonna eat this before we head off to church. Everything is good to go. One thing I can say is that I almost burnt on the kitchen and Chandler actually almost burnt on the kitchen prior to me. Prior is before, right? Yeah, prior to me burning down the kitchen. Reason being is because there's a whole bunch of oil in on the stove top, in and on. So it's kind of confusing. I can't use two of the burners because there's all kinds of oil in there. Not really safe. My man's just trying to eat, but today has been a great day so far. I mean, it is beautiful outside. Look at this overcast. Overcast is beautiful for me in Phoenix because all the time it's usually blazing hot with the sun, but it is for sure a relief to see the clouds. And especially since it was just such a relaxing day and that I slept in and it was good. Sometimes it's good to sleep in, but I personally, like I always say, it's not my favorite thing to do, but I like to sleep in when it's cool and 
Like my favorite time to sleep in is when it's raining, but I know it doesn't usually rain here. But it's getting close to that season, man, to where it's just beautiful 24-7. It gave us a little sneak peek probably two weeks ago and then slowly transitioning into it. As quick as that may seem, it is the next day and I am concluding this vlog. But I hope this did help you guys out. I know it helped me out a lot when I learned the basics and figured out how to get dreadlocks. I didn't have long hair, but I know this will work with long hair if you actually have patience and do your thing. But with all this being said, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up. And I know I haven't been posting on great music lately. That's because I'm about to just release all the music that I have been using lately. I have it all saved up. I just didn't release the songs on great music. So it's going to be like a whole huge playlist of music that's going to drop soon. So stay tuned for that. Also, hopefully you guys enjoyed yesterday's Guns Locked video. Video. It was a video about Ao Bowls, which is Ao and Teo. He's in Ao and Teo. You guys can go check that out. Go show it some love. And also go check out my Instagram if you guys are down. Other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, you guys have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless. There's been a lot going on with my dreadlocks. They've been getting longer. There's a lot of new growth. Um, they're starting to mature more. They're locking in better. Um, Let's try to give you a little 360 of what's going on. First, let me clean my glasses. All right. So you got the front of my hair, right? Always hanging in the front of my face. Actually, let's get in front of the light so you can see everything better. So we got the front of my hair. Pretty normal as always. Got my scalp and everything. And my hair like kind of almost hits my lip now so slowly but surely it is growing we got the side of my hair and of course uh, I've told you guys before the side and the back of my hair is like more like the locks are more thick and I've noticed that the sides are harder to lock up for me but it's just one thing I have to get used to so you got the sides and I haven't had a fade in a while so excuse my hair Got the right side. And then I have like, there's like a few locks on my head that are just like really big. Like this one. They're not crazy big, but they're kind of big, you know? And of course my hair like shakes and everything. There's like, there's sometimes when like the hair, after I take a shower and stuff like that, I dry my hair. And then I notice that a lot of the locks are like connecting to another one. And, you know, I'm, I'm not like full free form, I'm semi free form. So like when I get out of the shower, I separate them and stuff. And stuff like that, I mentioned in many videos. But, yeah. That's good. Gonna...